What's good with y'all, man? It's Chief Bandit Camry. Another video straight like that, man. Let's get right into it, dog. Comment down below what you want to see in the next video. Like and subscribe if you brand new to the channel, man. Let's get it. We on demon time and as usual. Now, listen, y'all. Um, You know, I know we just hit 5K, but we now are officially on the road to 10K subscribers, bro. 10K is like a crazy number, bro. I'm surprised I've ever even hit 5K, bro. You know what I'm saying? But we growing, um, steady growing. You know what I'm saying? We gonna get bigger and stronger as the days go by. You feel me? Um, but I appreciate all the love that y'all be showing me and everything, dog. And that's why I always say leave a comment down below what you want to see in the next video, bro. Because I don't want to know what y'all want to see. You feel me? Um, because at the end of the day, this channel is for you, bro. This is like a, a for you page. I like my whole channel is a for you page, bro. You feel me? For you to get better, for you to learn some new information you know what i'm saying for you to laugh whatever you get out of my channel entertainment i don't care what you get out of my channel bro as long as you're here and you're rocking with us man welcome to the family but without further ado man i looked in the topic or look in the comment section in the last video and y'all want to know my thoughts on dating your friend's ex now understand this bro there's a thing called the bro code bro code aka you know our, bro code is basically when guys looking out for other guys homies looking out for homies right your friend you looking out for him, he looking out for you, bro. And the reason that that's so important is because, honestly, us as humans got to have each other's back, bro. Because, you know, the earth is crazy out here, man. Nature is wild, you feel me? Um, There's just a whole lot of stuff going on, you feel me? And, you know, it's always nice to have somebody right there that's going through it with you. Camaraderie is always a good thing, you feel me? But especially bro codes. You know, I know females, y'all got to have each other's back, too. But I'm talking to the, to the homies right now, bro. Y'all gotta have each other back because I always say, man is alone in the world, bro. No one's gonna help you, really. Right? If you are a man, bro, you better... You gotta go out there and get it, bro. Ain't gonna be no sugar daddies pulling up on you. Ain't gonna be no sugar uh, sugar daddies hitting you up in your DMs, bro. You cannot go make an OF account and try to make some easy, quick cash, bro. You can't just do... You can't do all that. You can't do the same things that a woman does, bro. You don't have the same help and support that a woman has. So, because of that, we have to have each other's backs. And by having each other's backs, I mean that we gotta understand that we all in this together, feel me? Especially your homies, bro. That's why it's called bro code. You gotta stick to the code. When you got a homie, bro, you gotta understand that you can't betray your friend. You can't betray your friend or that's fake. So when it comes to dating your friend's ex, I do not condone that at all. I do not condone that at all because that is betrayal and that is stabbing him in the back. And let me explain why, bro. Because if you date your homie's ex, if you are in any way involved with your homie's ex, I don't care, dating, talking to, smashing, if you are involved in any of that, that means that you was most likely looking at his uh, at his ex while they was dating. And that's scandalous, bro. And by looking at her, I mean you was plotting. You was plotting. Oh, dang, bro. I, as soon as they, or, oh, dang, I would do this. You're not supposed to think like that as a homie. That's not your job, bro. As a homie, you're supposed to support your homeboy. You're not supposed to be plotting on, on, on his girl. You're not supposed to be plotting and praying on his downfall, bro. See, what you have to understand is when your homie breaks up with a girl, when they break up, they broke up for a reason, whatever the reason may be. So even if he is moved on, why would you bring that energy, that bad negative energy from that breakup back into your homie's life? Why would you bring that back into his life and now he got to deal with that? Now he got to deal with that. And see, that speaks volumes to what a lot of dudes do today. Because so many people in this world is fake, bro. There's a lot of guys that will sell out just for a woman. A lot of guys will literally stab their friend in the back just to get with a female, bro. And it doesn't make any sense to me. Because it's like, okay, so you betrayed your close homie to get with this girl that's probably not... She, like, it's not like she's going to be your wife. Like, who, who, who is she? Like, bro, all you... Y'all gotta understand the value of certain things, bro. The value of a close friendship or the value of this specific female, bro. You have to start seeing the value in the two. And you have to start understanding that getting women is just getting women, okay? They gonna come and go, you feel me? You're gonna have relationships throughout your life, bro. You know what I'm saying? So selling out your homie for one girl, that's not the move. That's not the wave it never has been, bro. That's scandalous and that's fake. When your homie has a girlfriend, bro, I don't care what your opinions and thoughts on her are, bro. Because, see, as humans, I understand that we look at people and we're like, oh, they're attractive, they're attractive, they're attractive, bro. But you don't have to act on that. So when you're around your homie and his girl, right, you should be extremely respectful, bro. Only time you speak to her is when you say, hello, you, hello, handshake. No hugs, no nothing, no, 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 no. Handshake. Hello, nice to meet you. 
and whatever. Go about your day, bro, and and chill with your homie, bro. But you should never be talking to his girl, shouldn't be plotting on his girl, even after they're done, bro. I don't care. You should not be talking to his ex. That's wrong. And it, it, it's wrong, bro. That's a It's clear betrayal, bro. It shows that you care too much about women, and it shows that you pedestalize them too much. Because if you are getting with your homie's ex, that tells me that you were so desperate that you literally thought it was a good idea to get with someone that your homie has already been with just to get some play how does that sound what if she got or what if she cheated on your homie bruh and now you getting with her what does that say about you that shows that you don't really care about your homie you just care about getting you some bro and that's the difference that's the difference between the fake and the real the real know that they're not gonna do that and see i have a, a little bit of an experience with this it's not it wasn't anything terrible but i i want to i want to show y'all something real quick bruh because these homies that will betray you and get with your uh, get with your ex, whether it be behind your back or right in front of you, bro, understand that these are the same ones that will get in relationships and they'll let the girl run everything. What I mean by that is they'll be a complete scent for the girl. They'll do exactly what she say. What she says goes. They will literally, these are the same type of dudes that will not talk to you for a long period of time after they get a girlfriend. I know we all been through that. Your homie gets a girlfriend, he disappears. I know several people that have done that in their uh, various friend groups. Your homie gets a girlfriend, he disappears from the friend group. You don't ever hear from him again. The only person he hangs out with is that specific girlfriend. He never hangs out with the homies no more. He's not a homie no more. He puts her above everyone. It puts her above everything. Why is that bad? It's bad because when you put so much into that one person that that's the only person that you hang out with, when you put so much into one single person, I don't care who it is. It could be a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Who, who It doesn't matter. When you put that much into one person that that is the only person you ever hang around, that is the one person that you prioritize, the only person that you care about, what happens when something goes wrong? What happens when something goes wrong? You have nothing. You can't even go back to your homies. Because you don't have no homies no more. You left them in the dust for this female. See how that works? But like I said, bro, let me, let me share this real quick experience, bro. And my dog, if you're watching this, you know who you are. I'm not going to name no names. But you know who you are, bro. And there's no disrespect at all. But you know this is facts. I had a homie back in high school. And he had transferred. But you know what I'm saying? He had got a girlfriend. He had got a girlfriend at this new school, man. And let me tell you, I did not talk to him for a cool two, three months, bro. I ain't talked. To, I did not text him. I didn't say a word to him for a long time. It was a minute before we talked again, bro. He finally now 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 he's come to his senses and is no longer in scent mode. But back then, bro, it's crazy because see, anyone that goes behind your back and dates your ex, anyone that allows a girl to run a relationship is a scent. Is a scent. Anyone that allows their girl to to oh come on we gonna go here and they just willingly go along because they're so scared to lose her that is a scent. That is one hundred percent a scent. Has no balls. Has no balls. And I've told bro my dog if you're watching this video I've literally told you before dog she took your balls she took your balls and you agree too we talk about it we talked about it before she had your balls bro. You feel me? That's just how it is. But you cannot do that, fellas. You cannot be dating your friends' it's ex. Uh, uh, you can't do that, bro. Even if, even if your homie is like, oh yeah, it's cool. Go ahead. Understand that man is not going to open. They, they're not really going to open up to you deep down. He's going to feel some type of way. He's going to know that he knows that the only time it's okay to mess with a girl that your homie mess with is if, uh, uh, your homie and that particular female wasn't even, they, they wasn't even that serious and never got to the relationship. Maybe they was just talking for a little bit. You feel me? But even then that's still, mm, I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of a gray area, but for surely you should never betray your homies, bro. You should never do none of that stuff. Cause all of that is fake and you don't want to be a fake homie, bro. Because at the end of the day, man, sometimes your homies is all you got. So that's all I got for y'all today, man. Comment down below what you want to see in the next video, man. I'm, I'm going to be dropping bangers all summer. You feel me? I love y'all and I'm out of here, dog. Peace.